So, you want a wakeboard. Here's how. To start, you're gonna need a boat and a wakeboard. We can't help you with that, so we're gonna assume you've already figured that out. Next, we'll assume you know how to get into your wakeboard because every board has different bindings. You either strap them or lace them. Just get into it. All right, make sure you've got a spotter and a driver in the boat, and if you've got all that, hop in the water, but don't forget the handle. Now, as the boat pulls forward and the rope tightens, assume the starting position with your arms straight out in front of you and your knees bent. And make sure you're facing towards the boat, because when that rope tightens, if you're backwards, you're gonna struggle to get back forwards. You're gonna need to know some hand signals on the water. Faster, slower, okay. Back to the dock, and I'm done. Cut your neck. When the boat pulls the rope tight and you're ready to go, shout hit it, and the driver is gonna push the gas forward. So as the boat starts to go, make sure that you keep those arms straight and don't fight the boat because the boat's gonna win every time. Let those arms stay straight and let the boat slowly pull you up while you stay in that squatted position. And once you get onto your feet, you're going to stand up, but still slowly, and you're gonna let that front foot start to slowly turn until eventually you're in the proper wakeboarding position. If you're wondering what that front foot is, if you've snowboarded or skateboarded before, it's gonna be the front foot that was in front then. If not, have someone push you from behind and whichever foot you step forward with is gonna be the foot that you have in front. As you're standing up, if that board starts to turn one way, that's probably your natural way and you should just go with that. But if it doesn't feel good while you're doing it, maybe try getting up and going the other way and see if that feels better. Once you get to a comfortable speed on the boat, make sure you're holding a proper wakeboarding position with your head looking straight, your arms straight, and pushing your hips up towards the handle. A comfortable speed for a new wakeboarder could be anything from 15 to 21 miles per hour. We would say for a younger person, probably between 15 to 17, and for someone who's older, probably around 17 to 20. Some common ways to mess up when trying to start wakeboarding is trying to fight that boat where your arms stay bent and you don't let that boat pull you forwards. You're gonna fight the boat and you're not gonna win. Another common mistake is trying to stand up too early. What's gonna happen then is you're gonna just push your board right underwater and you're gonna fall over the front of it. Or you're gonna lose balance when you finally get up and then you're gonna fall over like that. Another mistake is not standing up at all and staying in that squatted position forever and just getting dragged in the water by that boat. Once you're up and riding on top of the water, try to cut in and out of the wakes to gain some confidence on the water. Once you can cut back and forth, you can start doing more wakeboarding stuff and have some more fun on the water.